Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is John Fibonacci. Welcome to my channel. This video is buying below the open in bullish conditions. Why am I doing this video? Because I have one on shorting above the open and I don't have one for buying below. Someone had asked about it a few weeks ago. So here we go. Buying below the open in bullish conditions. Opening price is a tool we can use to filter out ideal buying or selling scenarios. So in this drawing, you can see that the yellow line delineates opening price of the session. So whenever the session starts, whether it be London, New York, New York Stock Exchange, Asia, bond market, whatever, whenever that opens, the price at that specific time is your opening price. So what I like to do, I have an indicator for this, but what I like to do sometimes is draw out a line from there. I want to know what the price was or is at the time of the opening of the session or of the week month and stuff like that so don't forget there are other opens but the sessions since they happen every day they happen very very frequently so um, i use the session opening price often okay so if price drops below the open and we're in bullish conditions bullish on the higher time frame and if the market drops lower, that usually presents a good buying opportunity. But again, higher time frame conditions have to be bullish uh, in order for this to happen. So if we have liquidity or you know something to that effect above opening price as our target, then that is ideal. That's that's what we want. So buying below the open and then selling or looking for a target that is above ideally way above the opening price so again it is a reference point all right so you can see here on this chart all we have is the opening price delineated by the orange line so at 9 30 a.m eastern my charts are in central time so 8 30 central time for me is when the new york stock exchange opens so for indices dow s p nasdaq i want to be aware of what that price is at 8 30. and if i'm looking to long it, it's going to be somewhere below opening price okay so below the open is where i'm looking to long and if we have a target above the open so somewhere in this red box then that would be an ideal exit. So I'll give you a minute here to look at the S&P here on a five minute time frame. What do you see on this chart? What stands out to you? What do you think the opportunities were? And I'll give you a minute to look at this, kind of figure it out. Or if you want to pause the video here for some more time, you can, but I'll go ahead and move forward with what I have to present to you. And then we can go from there. Okay, so here's the two markups that I have, a mitigation for a long opportunity, and you have liquidity up there around 39.09 and uh, by the, the pink line. So those two highs right here, these two highs right here, kind of close together. You could, ca you could call those um, low resistant highs or equal highs, easy target on the upside, and the market obviously trades way and you know well up into that and the mitigation long was below the opening price so you do have an imbalance here and you have these down candles here as well but i've only marked uh the mitigation okay but either either one of those would have worked this imbalance is below the open these down candles here are below the open and that mitigation is also below the open so whether you use the imbalance or the mitigation either way you would have been longing down in here in the market rallied to the liquidity above the opening price okay opening price can be used for all asset classes also remember that opening price is not just for the session open but could also be a weekly or monthly open those are important when i trade stocks um the higher time frame really comes in uh important okay the monthly candles uh weekly candles monthly open weekly open stuff like that so if i'm overall bullish 
then I want to be buying below the monthly open, ideally the weekly open as well. So we want to be buying when price is low, not when price is high. All right, so that is going to do it for this video, buying below the open in bullish conditions. Thanks guys so much for watching. If you found value, uh, drop a like. I would greatly appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you want to have some fun with us on the live sessions, you can become a member today. I go live four times a week right here on YouTube. You can get a sniper next to your name. You can get the chat emojis and access to other perks. So check that out and I will see you in the next video.